in this lesson, we're going to talk about isotopes. It's a pretty cool concept. So let me quickly draw us an atom. So remember that with an atom, you've got your center nucleus part, which has um, protons. Now this time, I'm just going to say protons, which are positive. And then we've also got neutrons. I'm just going to draw them like that. They don't have a charge at all. Let's say this one's got um, like that. And then on the outside, we've got these energy levels. And in those energy levels, that's where you would find your um, electrons, which are negatively charged. Okay, and then let's maybe add, uh, oh no, that's fine, let's take that one away. And then let's just add one more um, proton. Okay, so there we've got one type of, uh, there we've got an atom. Now I'm gonna quickly draw another one. And I want you to just look at these. Oh, these are positive, by the way. And what is the main difference? Okay, well, the difference is the following. In this one, we have um, protons, neutrons. We're going to look at how many we have. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the number of protons, remember, protons are positive, so there are three. Uh, neutrons do not have a charge. So in this one, there's also three. And then electrons are negative, and they are on the outside. So this one also has three. Okay, now look at this one. This one is, uh, if you look at the protons and the neutrons and the electrons, so the number of protons is three, but if you look at the number of neutrons, there are two. Ah, and then if you look at the electrons, there are three. So these two atoms are going to be called isotopes. The definition of isotopes is atoms, well, let's write here isotope. These are atoms with the same proton or same amount of protons, but different number of neutrons. Right, now I've got some challenge questions coming up for you on the next slide, but just make sure that you've got that definition. It's atoms with the same amount of protons, but different number of neutrons. So what's important is that protons is what helps us to work out, that is our atomic number. And that is also the number on the periodic table. So if the, if the number of protons are the same, then these elements are the same. So for example, this would be maybe um, like lithium, and then this would also be lithium. Okay, so, so isotopes are the same element because they have the same amount of protons but the number of neutrons is different. So because the number of neutrons is different, that means the mass numbers are also different because what is mass number? Mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So for this one, the mass number would be three plus three, which is six. Here, it would be three plus two, which is five. Okay, so isotopes are also going to have different mass, and that is because of the different number of neutrons. Okay, so let's go practice this a bit. So the question I have is, are these two isotopes of each other? Well, let's go work out the number of protons and neutrons for this one, and then the protons and neutrons for this one. So we learned in a previous lesson that this, the larger number, is called your mass number. Okay, I'm just gonna say mass number or mass, no, let's say number. Mass number. And then the number at the bottom is your atomic number. Okay, this is your atomic number. So we said in a previous lesson that your atomic number is your number of protons. It's your number of protons. So if your atomic number here is four, then that's a four. Then here, this one would have an atomic number of three, so it's got three protons. So these are not isotopes of each other because we learned in the previous slide that isotopes have the same proton number but not the same um, neutron number. So for these ones, are they isotopes? We're going to say no. Let's do some more examples. 
Okay, so here's my question. Are these isotopes? Well, we need to go work out the number of protons and the number of neutrons for each one. So we know that the protons is the same as the atomic number, so that's gonna be four, and for this one it's also four. Okay, so that's looking good. If they have the same proton number, then they could be isotopes, but we need to just check the number of neutrons. Now, how do we get the number of neutrons? Well, remember, this larger number is your mass number. It's your mass number, okay? So we know that the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus neutrons. So if the mass number for the first one is 18, and the protons is four, then to work out the neutrons, you would say 18 minus four, and you would get 14. If you had to do the same over here, you would say 19 minus four, and that would be 15. So yes, these are going to be isotopes. Yes, they, um, they are isotopes, because isotopes have the same amount of protons, but different amount of neutrons. And so that's all we're gonna talk about for this lesson. Just wanted to give you an introduction to what isotopes actually are.